Welcome back. Time for Sports News Now. The mesmerizing rise of Nigeria's Aruna Kadri in international table tennis is arguably one of the major talking points in table tennis last year. Kadri showed consistency in winning medals for club and country and made a remarkable leap in the world rankings. In this report, our sports correspondent, Austin Okunapan, highlights the moments that contributed to the rise of Aruna Kadri. In the meantime, the elephants of Cote d'Ivoire this evening defeated the home-based Eagles by a lone goal in an international friendly at the Zayed Sports City Stadium in Abu Dhabi. The African champions who featured home-based team made a few chances at goal against the elephants, led by Manchester City midfield, midfielder and African Football of the Year, Yaya Toure. The Nigerian team held the Ivorians for most part of the game, but had to pay for a defensive blunder, which was capitalized by substitute Salomon Kalon in the 83rd minute. The team will take on the Falcons of Sudan in a second international friendly on January the 17th. Standing to his feet, squared the ball nicely and uh, well placed there by uh, Salomon Kalou, the Haita Berlin forward. Meanwhile, Arsenal's Alexis Sanchez continued his fantastic debut in the English Premier League by helping the Gunners to a 3-0 win against Stoke City. Sanchez scored a brace as Arsenal climbed above neighbours Tottenham, up the fifth to fifth on the table of the league. So Laurent Kosseni headed home to the home side into an early lead. The Chile International then finished off a neat move with Thomas Rosicki to double Arsenal's lead before half-time. He added his second goal of the game and 18th of the season from a free kick shortly after the break. Southampton moved above Manchester United and into third in the league as Dusan Tadic's second half goal settled a game of few chances at Old Trafford. The International Table Tennis Federation has listed the Lagos World Tour among its Challenge Series for 2015. The event is scheduled to hold from March 10th to the 14th, but the final entry for the tournament has been fixed for February the 18th. In the prospectus released by the World Table Tennis Governing Body, the prize money for the Lagos Tour has also been hiked to $46,000. That's about 8.3 million naira. Players will compete in the men's single, women's single, men's doubles, women's doubles, under 21 boys singles, and under 21 girls singles. And we can now bring you that story on Aruno Kadri's uh, rise uh, to the international in international table tennis, uh, showing remarkable leap in the world rankings. Our correspondent Osno Konakban has more on this. Incredible performance by Kadri Aruna. He's getting standing ovations here. Standing ovation for the player that lost. A rare applause by spectators for this Nigerian who produced breathtaking table tennis that stand world champions. Certainly someone to keep an eye out on. On his way to the quarterfinals at the Men's World Cup in Germany, the charismatic Nigerian beats world number 16 Tang Peng, world number 27 Japan's Kenta Matsudaira, and world number 37 Russia's Alexander Shibaev. Aruna Quadri announced himself on the world stage. Last year, the 26-year-old moved from 237th in the world rankings to number 30. Is Africa's number one. Aaron Okwadri um, is leading the way, shining light for table tennis in Nigeria. Not only because he's playing so well, but I think the humility and discipline he brings to the game, uh, the respect he has for the laws of the game, for the board, for the federation, and that's what's making him Africa's <laughs> leading player at the moment. The winner is Anona. <clears throat> Quadri Aruna, come on up for your award. Quadri ended 2014 in style. At the IWTF Star Awards in Dubai, his crucial winning point against world champion Zhang Jike of China at the World Cup was voted the best in the star points category. Never underestimate. And then the big moment came. The winner for the evening of male table tennis star, 
Quadri Aruna. Quadri Aruna of Nigeria. Two awards for the outstanding Quadri. He could barely believe it. To all other nominees in the Star Point of the Year and Male Star Athlete of the Year, I would like to let all of you know that we all deserve this, but I'm just being lucky to be the winners. The Nigeria Table Tennis Federation deserves some commendations for the turnaround in Quadri's career. 2014 was good and has gone. The aspiration for players and administrators of the sport is to make 2015 an even better year. Austin Okonakban, Channels Television News. And on the foreign scene, France is experiencing what could perhaps be described as one of its biggest rallies as more than a million people and more than 40 world leaders are showing solidarity following the killing of 17 people in three attacks in the capital last week. French President François Hollande, who is at the forefront of the rally, says Paris is the capital of the world today. This is indeed one of the largest rallies witnessed in Paris. A solidarity march in honor of the 17 victims of three attacks in the city and northern France. World leaders of the march alongside President François Hollande is the British Prime Minister David Cameron, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas, Jordan's King Abdullah II, and even Malian President Ibrahim Keita. Their starting point was the Place de la République. Paris, however, is not the only city where the Unity March is taking place. Rallies are also holding in other French cities. But together, the number of people on the streets today could be more than three million. The killings began on Wednesday when two brothers raided the offices of satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. They were both shot dead by police on Friday. Although leaders from around the world have sent in their condolences, including President Goodluck Jonathan, observers say France's response to the attacks and the hunting down of the perpetrators show countries need to be ready for attacks before they happen to avoid large number of fatalities. They're a prepared country. They're people who understand security. Now, they don't just react, they preempt. They do things uh, in readiness for a time like this. And so naturally, what has happened is what they have invested in is what they have deployed. And so what I think we need to also learn is we don't wait for the house to go up on fire before we start to put in, you know, um, things in place to ensure that when fire comes, you can take it out in a short while. In the wake of the attacks, France has not only raised its terror attacks to the highest level, but the Interior Ministry has been reaching out to its counterparts across Europe to discuss the threat posed by militants. At least 40 people are dead after a bus crashed head-on with a fuel tanker. We're well, looking at pictures from earlier today. A terrible crash uh, has happened between an oil tanker and a bus, leaving more than 50 people dead in the Pakistani city of Karachi. Witnesses say the tanker was speeding on the wrong side of the road when it hit an oncoming bus. Both vehicles burst into flames shortly after. But uh, not everyone on the bus was killed. As some who had been traveling on the roof of the bus managed to jump to safety. Approximately 60 people were on the bus traveling to the town of Shikapur when the accident happened. Pakistan has a high number of fatal traffic accidents with nearly 9,000 crashes and an average of 4,500 deaths on the road each year. And the main news again. A three-story building housing the party secretariat of the All Progressives Congress in Okrika local government area of River State has been attacked by unknown gunmen. The ruling People's Democratic Party, the opposition APC and INEC have been trading words over the APC's presidential candidate, Muhammad Buhari's certificate. Five people have been killed, 46 others injured in Yobe Potiskum during a GSM market attack. 
and more than a million people have taken part in a unity march in Paris after 17 people were killed during three days of deadly attacks in the French capital. That's a news of 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amirachi Obadi. Good night. Be safe and have a great week.